Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day. Today is July 24th. It's Tuesday. And I haven't done a video in some time. But I wanted to come out today and share some thoughts with you. And um, it's just... Life is always changing. Life is always changing. Things are always going up, going down. Good times, bad times, exciting times, not so exciting times. It's just like there's always it's like an emotional roller coaster. And um, I wanted to come out and share with you guys some thoughts and what to do or how to deal with these ups and downs, good and bad light and darkness I think that while it's hard for us to accept when especially when it's go from good and bad or light and darkness it's kind of hard for us to accept those bad places they all play a role in the experience that we're having here on earth they all play a role in helping us become better at being who we are who we created to be in God's image it's like it's hard to accept but it's the truth so what I wanted to share with you guys today is this. No matter how bad things are getting or how good things are getting, the one thing that will remain consistent is the way you choose to use your mind about it. I'm going to say it again. The, way, the one thing that re will remain consistent is the way you choose to use your mind about the circumstances so we all have a mind and I truly believe that our mind is where God can speak through us he can speak to us don't get me wrong the same mind that God can speak through us too has a capacity of thinking and perceiving negative thoughts but we have the power and we have the authority to cast out to not think, to not dwell on negative things. Your mind is your private space. This is where you have the right to think things through the way you want to. You have the right to think things through the way you want to. That doesn't mean that you won't get thoughts that don't represent what you want. But you have the right to say, I'm not going to think like that. I'm not going to dwell like that. I'm not going to do that. That is your right. Your mind, I can uh, compare it to your slave. I know this is something hard for some people to accept, but I'm going to say it because it's, it's what I believe. It's what I've been dwelling on. My mind is my slave. My mind when I tell it to do something, that's what I'm going to do. When I got up this morning, I said, I want to share some thoughts this morning. I was saying it in my mind. It was all in my mind. And the minute I made a decision, I started thinking about what and how and all the different things that may come about to have this experience right now that I'm having showing, doing the video. But it started in my mind. I made a decision in my mind to say, I'm going to do it. And now I'm doing it. Okay? So my mind is what controls my actions, my reactions. Everything I do in, in my body is a reflection of what I was thinking before. Whew. I don't know if you guys get this, but as I'm saying this to you, I'm getting it. Your mind is your slave. Whatever you tell it to do, it's going to do. So my question to you is today. How are you going to use your mind, your slave today, to do as you wish, as you called to do? Think about that. Till next time, I will speak to you guys soon. I know this is some thoughts this is out of out of my realm. You know, I probably would have never used that word slave, but that's the best way I can explain it. Your mind is your slave. Think about that. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.